live. Hey, 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 everyone. Hello. Tara here in the craft cabin. How are you all today? I hope today has brought some more sunshine um, into your world, wherever you may be today. Um, so, yeah, I worked out that this is our 20th craft. I don't know if that's a good thing or um, not a good thing, but um, I've been writing down all the crafts that we've been doing. And today... Viking ship is number 20. Oh, I can't believe that we've been here for 20 days. I'm sure for some of you, it probably feels longer. Oh, sorry about that. But anyway, I've been having the crack, so I hope you have been enjoying it as well. Um, so yeah, so do, do let me know if you've been enjoying it. What has been your favorite craft actually? Um, what things did you like making the most? I'd love to hear what, uh, what you like. Um, so we've nobody on just yet. So hopefully a couple of people will, will join us today. I know as things go on, it's kind of hard to keep up the momentum. So I know we haven't had as many people the last uh, last little while um, on our lives. I was wondering, should I change the time of it actually? Is there a different time that might might suit you? I know some people are watching the, the school um, on RTE. So um, I know that's from 11 to 12. So perhaps... Um, um, it's conflicting but anyway we're going to craft on regardless um even if it's just for myself i'm going to start crafting away anyway so anyway everyone is very very welcome today today um or yesterday we made loads of little critters from our egg carton so we cut up all the humpy bumpy bits of our egg carton and we made some critters um so hopefully you made some and um, i'd love to see some of the little ones that that you made but we had left over was the top of the egg carton the plain piece so I thought what could I do with that oh I didn't paint the bottom oopsie and um, it looked like a really nice boat shape so I thought maybe today we would make a boat a viking boat no less so that's what I have done today um, so I'll be showing you how to do that in a little minute. So I forgot yesterday to place them on the, the village and to show you uh, where I put them. So uh, when we put down our Viking ships tomorrow uh, or today, I'll show you what we did uh, yesterday as well. So yeah, so the egg carton craft. So again, trying to come up with crafts that are um, um, things that you would use around the house so lots of papers and, and things like that which I know you'll have and glues and googly eyes and stickers and gems and things but also um, like household things like egg cartons and um, yesterday someone asked me to make a craft out of milk bottles and um, I we I don't have milk bottles. We don't have them in, in Cavan necessarily. Some um, counties love their bottles, but we've lot we do a lot of carton craft uh, crafts. So I'll use some milk cartons, um, and we might make something from milk cartons. But anyway, um, nobody on today. No one loves Tara today. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Well, look, I'm going to fire away anyway, guys. If you're watching on the repeat, you are very, very welcome. Tara here in the craft cabin on day. 5, 10, 15, 20, day 20 of the Kids Craft Challenge. So, without further ado, let's see what we're making today. We're going to turn our milk carton or our egg carton, so it was this colour here, um, and I've turned it into a Viking ship, if you can see that. So we have the dragon at the front, um, and a little tail, tail at the end. We have a flag. We have the oars, and then we have all the shields at the side. You can see shields there as well. I don't know if you can see that. So, do you think Puri can make that today? I definitely, definitely think so. So, that's what we're doing today, guys. There's nobody on. That's very strange today. There's always somebody on. Anyway, we continue on. So, that's it. All right, so let's get cracking on this. The first thing that I did was I took my carton and I painted it. So I just used some brown paint and um, sienna paint. So if you see um, closely, there's two different colors in it. You can do it all in one color, but it just gives it a little bit of depth. Um, I think if you do um, more than one color in it. 
just to give it a bit of life so I just painted that it took a little while to dry because the the box is quite uh, porous so it really soaks in your your paint so I painted that so I'm going to flip this down here if you do come online do say hello to me and um, even if you watch on the repeat do say hello so down we go so hello 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 this is just some scrap paper I have because we're doing some some coloring so the first thing we're going to make what I like to do when I make crafts like this this is quite a, a big craft so there's lots of bits and pieces in this one and what I like to do when there's lots of, of things to, to make I like to make all the little bits and pieces first and then assemble them so we're going to make all these individual parts first and then we're going to assemble it okay so we're going to start off with the is this the prow is this what you call the prow I don't know the parts of my my ship but anyway the front the front and the back of it we're going to make that so on this one here I made it like a little dragon sort of thing I don't know if it looks very dragon like but anyway it's the best dragon I could manage so all I did with this one I'll show you this side because I, I made this side a little wee bit uh, darker so I just um, did a little face on it like a dragon but you can do different um, shapes and things on it as well so to get started so i thought on this one i would do just more of a, a simple um shape to it so that it, it sits up like this so it's at the top um and the bottom of the um the boat so i just use some scrap paper fold it over because we need to have two um we need two for the front and we need two for the back so on this one, this is the kind of shape that I did on mine. You can play with yours. So come up with some different um, shapes that you think you might like. You can do the front and the back the same or you can do them uh, differently. It doesn't matter. So this one here, I just drew this. So all I'm doing now is I'm cutting it out. So just go around it and cut it out. Oops, a daisy. like that so I now have this and what I can do now is use this to do my other one I could have folded a piece of paper in in four actually but um, sometimes the thicker it gets it's harder to cut it then so all I'm doing is whoops trace it around this so I have the shape so I'm going to cut this out again so just keep the two together Cut it around again you don't have to follow the line exactly just get a kind of right and down we go like that so now I have two together so with each of them now I am going to get a little bit of glue and I am going to glue just the top of them what you want is that they are attached at the top, but that they are apart at the edge. And it's good to do this one first because you do need this to dry. So just glue it at the top and leave it open at the edge. Now, I'm just gonna put these two together now as well. So just gluing them at the top, that's it. Again, do my usual go around them. This is why I have my scrap piece of paper here today. Just going all around them. Oops, what are these? You don't have to do this, but this is just something I like to do with all the crafts that I make. Um, I like the look of it. Just makes it look more professional, I think go around it so I used color paper here but you could use white paper and you could color it in and do different designs and things on it as well so on the the dragon one that I did um, I drew a face on my one so like this one here I drew a face on it so you could come up with different creatures as um, um, as well so with this one we could get maybe a marker a thinner marker and we could go around it 
like that like that so just make it more like it's a like a woody effect like that oops again you come up with some some ideas yourself you can just leave it plain of course do whatever way you want okay so now I have the top and the bottom of my boat. So I'm going to pop, pop those on in a little minute, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do all the shields around the side. So these ones I did all kind of similar, different colors but similar. So you might do one of them a little bit different. So for this one, Oops, the daisies. I did a few already. I cut out a few already because they're a little bit time consuming and I didn't want to waste your time just looking at me colouring in. <laughs> but we're going to do one together. So just fold a little piece of paper in half and we're going to draw around. When I did these ones, I folded a piece of paper in four and I did these four all together actually just because I'm lazy and I'm like that. <laughs> so now I'm just going to cut this out. All the way around, doesn't have to be perfect. I just when it's folded over, sometimes it can be a wee bit harder to cut. Okay, so now I have two. So I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm just going to draw some lines in it, like that. Oh, I said we do these ones um, different. What about doing something different on these ones? What about doing um, a color? What color haven't I used? Purple, and let's pick another color, orange. So what about doing, oh, <laughs> that's gone. I've got another purple here. Throw that in the bin, so I have purple here. What about doing like, Okay, I don't know what color that is. The gray. <laughs> See, this is what happens in the craft shop is that you think it's purple, but it's on a gray marker. Oh, it drives me mad. This one I think is orange, so. So you could do some like this as well. So we'll do that one. Now I've lost me gray, put me gray in the bin. So you can come up with some different designs on them. With these ones, I just um, did like quadrants and then I colored these in. With the ones that I did on this one, I colored all of the little triangles in. So it just depends what you want to do. So come up with some different designs on them. And again, you could use some colored paper. So you could draw circles out of colored paper and just use those as well. So come up with something yourselves. Okay, so now we have the shields done. Next, we're going to do the um, the oars, actually. We'll do these. So for the oars, you're going to need some skewers. So you might have these if um, anyone has been barbecuing at home. <laughs> uh, you can use these. If you don't have these, you could use lollipop sticks or you could just use uh, pencils or pens or colouring. Anything that is long that's going to go through your um is going to go through here and out the other side so something that is pointed is really good but if it's not pointed you can just use a a, a pair of scissors and, and put it through but i like the skewers because they do have pointy ends on them so it's it's handy so for the oars then you just need a little bit of black paper just a, or black card like this you're going to fold it in half and you're going to cut them into a rectangle now leave one end folded because you're going to um, clamp it, clamp the skewer down in between. So you're going to make them like this. So you want to make sure that this end is closed, okay? So that's why it's good just to, to fold it over, okay? So I have two here. I'm going to do this one. So all I'm doing is folding my card over don't worry about them being the same size and all that kind of stuff. Cut them in half. Oops. So I have four of these. 
so we can attach them now what you're going to do is when we go to assemble them we are going to put them through this way so don't put the flags on the the side actually we'll not put the flags on at all uh, till the end but you could put the or the oars so you could put the oars on this end now if you wanted but do make sure that you leave this end so you can push it on through okay so now we have our oars done I'll keep this out of the way the next thing we're going to make is our sail. So on my one, I did mine red and white. That's kind of a traditional one um, and a little flag on the top. We're going to do something a wee bit different. But for this one, actually we'll, we'll make it first and then I'll, I'll show you when we assemble it. So with this one, I did a sail like this. So I did one that's more of a triangle. So I just thought to do something different. So with this one, all I did was I got a, a sheet of A, what's that, A6, A5, uh, A5 paper. So that's an A4 sheet cut. And I just folded it over like that. And then if you see, I just cut a triangle out of it. Okay. So I didn't cut it just straight. I gave it a little bit of a, um, a groove in it as well so all I did was cut it so that when I opened it out it was like a big triangle that's all I did on that and on this one then I got a blue marker and I just made stripes with the blue this one I did as red so if you see that one that one's done red but you could do any type of mask that you want that'd be great so this one is nearly ready so all you need to use for this one is a, um, oh God, what you call it? a straw <laughs> uh, actually we'll do a little flag I didn't put a flag on, on this one so on this one here I did a little triangle flag so on this one I might do something a little bit different so if I cut a long piece out on this one just cutting a long piece of yellow Oops. Throw that to the side I'm gonna fold it in half like that so again I'm gonna wrap this around my straw like that so it's going to um, attach like that and I'm just going to cut out a little triangle like that so I have a flag that looks like this okay and i think i could put a little sticker on it what do you think let's see if i could find do i have any little pirate stickers oh i do have some pirate stickers oh so this is a viking ship but it's also maybe a pirate ship so i have a little um pirate one here so i'm just going to stick that on it as well let me put a blue one on that side and we put a red one on this side. So how about that? <laughs> we have that. Okay, so we'll attach those now in a little minute. Now, so we have all of our little bits done. So now it's time to assemble. So the first thing I'm going to put together is um, the, the top and tail of it, okay? So with this one, if you see again, uh, they're all done the same way. So it doesn't matter how big it is or what shape it is. They're all going to be done the same way. With this one, you need a little knife. So if you ask whoever's at home, if they have a little Stanley knife or a very or a sharp kitchen knife. And I'm just going to put some two slits um, in each end and the paper is going to go through there. So it doesn't matter how wide they are. And again, they don't have to be necessarily equal either. Okay, so very carefully. I'm putting, oops. Like that. I'm put my Stanley knife away. So now, all I'm doing is I'm going to open this up a little bit and I'm going to slide them down into the slits. So if I have one, and two, so like that. And I'm going to do the other side. I have one, oops, and two. So now, starting to take shape, isn't it? 
I like that one actually. So you can um, have them up or down, so it just depends on you actually. Make them a little more similar. Whoops. Like that. I think that's it. All right. So you can have them um, up more or down more. So whatever um, you want. Okay. So we have this bit done. The next bit we're going to do is we're going to do the oars. So again, I have my skewers. And I'm just going to poke it through. Now, because there is a pointy end on it, you don't actually need to use scissors to poke it through. But if you do, just get some scissors and poke through. And um, again, you might need a little bit of help with this one. Let's move these out of the way. So if I hold it up and push it down, it will go through. You see it coming out the other end? And push it in. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, come on. There we go. So we have one through. You can cut these, they might be a wee bit too long for you. You can cut them if you want, but um, I wasn't all that bothered. So again, I'm going to push this one through. Come on, you can do it, skewer. And I'm going to push it through this end as well. And there we go. Now, so I have these ready. So I am going to do this end first. I'm going to attach my little pieces of paper. So again, with this one, you can use Pritt stick because um, you are just attaching the, the paper to, to paper. So just put lots of Pritt stick over it um, and just hold it for a few, few seconds to let it dry. I'm going to use just a little bit of um, hot glue just because I want mine to stick really quickly. But you'll be able to do exactly the same when you use Pritt stick. So all I'm doing is I'm inserting the skewer at one end and I'm holding it so it sticks like that, if you can see that. All right, so I'm doing exactly the same with this one. So all I'm doing is I'm taking this and I am pushing it inside and squeezing it so it sticks. I'm gonna do that again on this one. Hold it. I'm going to do the other end as well. So I have my two little bits of paper. And stick. Uh, so hot glue gun is really handy, but it is hot. <laughs> and you can get blisters on your finger if you get the hot glue on it. Um, but just, I find it handy doing the videos because they just stick really, really quickly. But you can do exactly the same just using this because really all you're doing is you are sticking the, the paper on either end together. So that's what you're doing. So this um, can just slide, slide in really. So now I have my oars done, okay? So they're all done. So I can twist them um, different ways as well. They're kind of meant to be <laughs> that way. So I have my oars done. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my mast. So I'm going to move this out of the way. I want to show you at this one. I'll show you at this one here. So if you're just joining us, I have, it's telling me that there's nobody on and there's no comments. I don't know if that's right <laughs> or if there's just a little glitch in the system today. Um, so on our Viking ship or on my Viking ship that I did earlier this morning, I used a square piece of paper. And all I did is if you can see, is I put a little hole in here and a little hole in here and I fed the straw through it. And it just comes up in and out okay so if you can see that because this one i'm going to do a little bit different so if you want to do one like that that's all you do there okay but with this one i am just going to glue it a little bit just down at the edge so it still is able to 
kind of open out a little bit. I don't want it to be just fully closed like that. So I'm not going to put loads of glue on it. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the inside. So all I have is a lolly, is a straw. The bendy end I put up on the top. It just means that the bottom is stronger and you need the bottom a little bit stronger to, to hold it later on. So again, you can use PVA glue. Um, if you remember what I was saying before, that Pritt stick um, and glue stick, they're all really good if you're sticking paper to paper. But if you are sticking other materials to each other or to paper, the PVA glue is good. Hot glue is even better, but you may not have hot glue at home. Um, so I'm just going to bend that in a little bit. Like that. So now I have it like this, if you can see it. Okay, so I just, I don't want it fully closed, just leave it open just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to put this on the, the top now as well. So this is paper to paper, so I can just put a little bit of print stick on it. And I'm going to have this going the other way now. So just stick that to the top of the sail. So I have it like that. Um, ideally, um, you could have a straw coming out of the top and you can make it longer, but um, I want to have this a little bit longer on this side rather than going up and out the top. Okay, all right, so that is my mast. So we have our mast to put on now to finish. So it's going to go on here. So the way that I did it, if any of you have, this is uh, foam clay or silk clay. It's like, um, I suppose it's kind of like mola, only it uh, hardens when it dries. And what I want to be able to do, I'll show you on the one I did. What I want to be able to do is to stick my straw into something that I can stick and it holds it sturdy. Okay. so. I use, when I do this type of craft, I just use a little bit of foam clay. So this is all it is. If you don't have uh, foam clay, you can absolutely use blue tack. Uh, blue tack does um, the same job for this. Sorry, I just want to put the top on this. This dries out if you don't put the top back on it. So all I'm doing is I'm using this on here to stick my straw into. So I know it's going to stand up nice and tall. Okay, so if I put my straw down onto it, squish it down till it's um, at the bottom, and now I'm going to stick this down like that. So I'm using hot glue. You can use PVA glue. Will probably be a uh, probably won't be strong enough. So you might have to use super glue actually, um, or like a boss stick or something um a little bit more um. Yeah, something that kind of dries a little bit faster and is a little bit more hard wearing. But I am using my trusty hot glue gun as always. So just hold it just for a little minute just to make sure um, it dries. So just like that. Okay. So I actually should have stuck this up a little bit higher because it's very high now. But it is okay. So nearly there. So I'm going to take my shields next and I'm going to stick those down. Again, you can use your uh, PVA glue for, for this. Um, but again, I am going to use my hot glue gun just because it's much quicker just for the sake of this. So I'm just doing the back first and then I'll, I'll show you. So just sticking them on whatever way you want. Oops. Yeah. I'm going to stick these ones on. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So just putting a little bit of glue onto the back of them. So if you're using PVA glue, just stick um, PVA glue on the back and hold it in. If you're using PVA, you're just going to have to hold it for a little longer here. So you just might have to hold it for um, a few more seconds than I am, just so that it um, holds. And there we go. Yeah. Da, 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 da. We have our Viking ship, people. What are we thinking of our Viking ship? 
So we have our, um, oh God, I don't know what they're called, the prow and the, what's the other one, I think? I'm not too sure. Anyway, we have the, the two ends. We have a lovely big sail. On this one, we have a blue sail. Um, I'll bring it up just a little bit. There we go. Um, with our flag at the top. We have our oars. Um, so it can go very fast in the water. And then we have our shields at the side. Um, like our um, family crests. So people know who's a coming. Who is a coming. So I'm going to bring you back. Hello. Hi. So it's telling me nobody is watching or has watched or nobody has commented. So I hope that's not really the case. And it's just something um, a little bit weird with Facebook today. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed making our Viking ships. So this was one of our Viking ships. And this was the other one that I made earlier. So we have two ships to place in our village today. I wonder, does our village know that the Vikings are coming to plunder and pillage the village? <laughs> so let's put these down, guys. So I do hope there is some people on today and I'm very sorry if you have been on and you've been sending me messages. I just can't see anything coming up here. So um, my love to everybody, but um, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this off here and put my chair in and turn this around so we can see the village so yesterday we were making um little critters out of the egg carton so if you can see the little bees that we made and then the little penguins i put them down by the stream um our little turtoise is having a little drink of water here and the little weird alien <laughs> that we made is uh, just coming into the village now but let's see we have a viking ship um here we're going to maybe put the viking ship um maybe he's just just here he's just starting starting out so there's one viking ship what about putting the other viking ship um, at the other end so let's move some of these other crafts that we made oh, actually we didn't make that one we might do do those someday um so we might put him at this end so let's have a little look there's our viking ship ready to attack running all the fish up the stream um, to the other end maybe there's going to be a battle with these two viking ships Oh dear, what's going to happen? So guys, it's all coming together. Great job. There's wonderful stuff going on. Up here seems a bit bare. I think we might need to do a little something up here soon. So, um, yeah, so that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope there were some people watching again. I'm really sorry if you have been messaging me. I just, I can't see any comments or if anyone was, was watching at all. So um, apologies, but hopefully it'll be, it'll be all right tomorrow. It's Facebook. There are always little glitches. But anyway, have a great Friday and I will see you tomorrow. Having a clue what we're going to make tomorrow. But um, yeah, but it'll, it'll all come together. Always does. Anyway, guys, have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.